Australia is the world's best location to invest in the development of new renewable energy technologies, and it is vigorously promoting growth with its renewable energy target. The Australian Centre for Renewable Energy, known as ACRE, is the key point of contact for companies seeking funding from the government for the development of renewable energy technologies. ACRE forms part of the $5.1 billion clean energy initiative, which will lead Australia towards a low carbon economy. Solar is a vast yet largely untapped energy resource that is mainly being used in direct use applications, such as water heating but the future generation potential is both enormous and exciting. Australia is a prime location to develop large-scale solar energy generation projects as the continent has the highest solar radiation per square metre anywhere on Earth. Its use in Australia is projected to increase greatly and that means research, development and demonstration by both the public and private sector will be crucial in speeding the development of this key technology. Generating grid-connected electricity on a commercial scale is of huge importance. Wizard Power has developed the world's largest solar concentrator dish, delivering temperatures up to 1,400 degrees Celsius. The Wyala Solar Oasis will be the first ever commercial power plant using this big dish technology. It is a 40 megawatt grid-connected plant and is scheduled for completion by 2013. CSIRO is building the world's largest solar Brayton cycle system in New South Wales, paving the way for solar power that uses the sun to heat compressed air to create electricity without the need for water. It is ideally suited to parts of the globe that have low rainfall. Geothermal energy provides emission-free renewable power and can deliver baseload electricity 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Australia has the hottest known granites on Earth and favourable geology for two geothermal technologies. Enhanced geothermal systems, also known as hot fractured rock and hot sedimentary aquifers. Both these systems generate electricity from heat resources within the Earth's crust. Enhanced geothermal systems, or EGS, produce energy using heat extracted from hot granite rock by circulating water through an artificially engineered reservoir. These granites represent a massive source of renewable energy entirely free from carbon dioxide emissions. The hot sedimentary aquifer process brings naturally occurring hot water to the surface to transfer the heat for energy. The water is returned underground away from the source of extraction to be naturally reheated again. A framework is now in place to encourage investment into this exciting new technology. This is an exceptional opportunity to get involved at either the proof of concept or early commercial demonstration stage. Across Australia, exploration licences have already been granted and several companies have projects underway. Economic viability is the key. Queensland company Geodynamics, having already achieved proof of concept, is now planning a commercial demonstration EGS plant. This 25 megawatt facility will produce zero emissions, has no water requirement, and will generate electricity to power approximately 25,000 homes. Potential bioenergy resources in Australia are extensive and diverse. Bioenergy is a renewable energy process where biomass, which is organic matter from plants and algae, is used to generate heat for electricity. Or it can be made into biofuel. Bioenergy offers substantial potential environmental benefits, such as mitigation of climate change. Importantly, it can also increase the security of supply for transport fuel. The commercialization of this technology will result in sustainable availability of non-edible biomass. Australia's bioenergy use is projected to increase by 60% to 2030. The oceans are a currently underdeveloped but extensive renewable energy source 
and the share of ocean energy and electricity generation is projected to steadily increase. Australia has first-rate wave and tidal energy resources. These technologies show great potential and are ideal for generating zero carbon power for desalination plants. Wave energy harnesses the power of wave motion at the surface to generate electricity. A pioneering Australian company, Carnegie Wave Energy, has developed a wave conversion technology to generate power that produces zero emission desalinated water for Western Australia. Tidal energy uses the currents beneath the ocean surface to drive power generation equipment. The Australian Centre for Renewable Energy is a key component of the Australian Government's Clean Energy Initiative. It is promoting the development, commercialisation and deployment of renewable energy in Australia. The centre manages more than $560 million in funding to assist the development and commercialisation of renewable energy technologies in Australia. It also offers potential investors competitive funding and information on the Australian renewable energy market. The centre should be the first port of call for international investors seeking to invest in Australia's growing renewable energy sector. The Australian Centre for Renewable Energy.